We live in an increasingly disposable world, but there are people who see the value in what we throw away. Take mobile phones, for example. For many people, once they're a bit out of date, they just gather dust at the bottom of your drawer. But one man has found a use for old mobiles to protect the rainforest. And his name is Topher, and he is on the line now. Hello. Hi. Just explain what you are doing with old mobiles. Yeah, no problem. Topher White, a founder of Rainforest Connection, is based in San Francisco in America, but his heart actually lies in the rainforests around the world. Following a visit to Indonesia, where he witnessed the devastation caused by deforestation, Topher decided to put his knowledge of technology to the test. If the few rangers on the ground couldn't prevent the illegal loggers, he decided to come up with a way of having constant spy coverage of vulnerable areas. So, using old smartphones, he got a listening device that offers alerts to illegal activities day or night. So this uh, exotic-looking device is a prototype of the Rainforest Connection Detection System. It actually is a fancy way of powering and making independent a cell phone on the inside, which runs special software that we write to listen to the forest and actually pick up the sounds of chainsaws, gunshots, and animal distress sounds and transmit them in real time to a a server in the cloud that actually processes it and to law enforcement or local officials who can show up and actually stop the uh, illegal activity. This all relies on people donating their old mobile phones, but once Rainforest Connection have them, it takes Topher less than two hours to build the hardware and assemble these electronic ears. The biggest issue is how do you keep a phone powered with solar panels under the tree canopy? We basically built a system that allows small rays of light to be maximized in terms of the power they can create for the system. And of course, underneath here, there is a small microphone, which is actually very powerful and can detect chainsaw noises up to a kilometer in the distance. When being held here in my hand, it looks like a very obvious device. On a tree trunk, it blends in very well. And in fact, there have been times where we've had trouble finding them in the forest after we've installed them. In the event that someone actually does take them, it does uh, set off an alarm. The software inside detects the device is moving. So these are all ways in which we've leveraged what exists inside of a cell phone as it is. When we were testing these for the very first time in Indonesia, we put it up into a tree uh, and we all sat down and I got an email on my phone that indicated that this device we just put up had detected chainsaw noise uh, within one kilometer of where we were. But none of us had actually heard it and we couldn't believe it. We actually managed to arrive there within a few minutes and we stumbled upon some, uh, some loggers who were actually acquaintances of the people that run the reserve. We were able to say, this is a reserve, you cannot cut here. And the entire thing was diffused without any violence whatsoever. We believe that's the power of real-time data. It allows us to intervene before damage is done, before crimes have been committed. If nothing changes at the pace that is currently being destroyed, the rainforest will be gone within decades. But things are changing. With rainforest connection, with all sorts of other technologies, the rainforest can be saved, and I'm very confident that it will be saved.